Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Carmina and your stars aligned. I'm an astrologer and card reader. Okay, so today I want to be talking to you about cards and more specifically why you should get a past life card reading, right? Okay, so uh, if you've been watching my videos, you'll see that I have a lot of videos on astrology and a lot of videos on the cards of truth as well, right? And um, one of my favorite, favorite type of readings to do is the past life card reading. And uh, let me explain why that is, right? You might think, okay, like, why would I need a past life card reading? I'm in the present now, who cares about past lives? Yes, that is true, of course you're in the present, but a lot of the things, well, everything that you are living now has to do with your past life karma experience, right? So, for instance, when you come to get a um, past life card reading, you would ask, like in a prashna, but like a past life prashna, like what, uh, why am I having this relationship with men? What is my past life pattern of relationship with the opposite sex? Or uh, what is my past life relation to medicine, to music? Uh, what, what, what were we, me and my brother in past lives, right? Like, uh, what's the past life relationship between me and my child <laughs> or why am i so drawn to this particular place or country is there some past life connection with that so you can see like there this type of reading can provide some insight into that right so um yeah it's very specific and the good thing about it is that it also gives you uh, guidelines on what to do what your lesson it is um in accordance to that thing or that person like how you should behave with them in this life right so i think that's a very valuable takeaway from this like besides from explaining you like uh, giving you a bigger picture of how things went in your past existence in relationship to that thing it also uh, gives you some uh, pointers some guidelines on what you should do in this life in relation to that thing Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to give you an example of past life reading on myself, of course, because I'm here. <laughs> and yeah, so the, um, probably you know if you know me, but I'm really passionate about music, so I wanted to um, cast a card spread to see like what is my past life relationship to music. And um, yeah, let's see how that works. I'm going to explain to you step by step like what the cards mean. I'm going to show them to you and you'll see. Okay, so I'm going to be casting seven cards. The first one is my outer journey in that life in uh, respect to that event or person. In this case, what was my outer journey? What was my path regarding music? The second uh, card is the inner core of that person. So what was my intimate, like inner relationship to music, right? Like what kind of person was I in words in regard to music? The next two cards will present two highlights from the past life that involve that skill, which is music. Then the next card presents the inner evolution so how that inward uh, connection developed after those events and the next card shows like how my outer path developed right and the last card and probably the most important is gonna show what is my lesson for this life with that thing for me with music okay so i'm gonna start the reading now the first card which shows like my uh, outer path in regards to music is a reversed eight of diamonds, right? Um, a nice eight of diamonds, which is not, when, when it's not reversed, it shows like success. It shows like being at the right place at the right time. And for me, that wasn't it. I didn't 
probably get the worldly success that I wanted. I didn't get the financial success I wanted with music. That was my path. I was struggling to get success, to get a nice eight of diamonds, right? And the second card, it showed like my inner uh, relationship to music. And that's a nice ten of diamonds. So I was... Uh, I, I mean, I was very capable of making music because the Ten of Diamonds can be like uh, finishing a cycle, right? So completing a cycle, completing a skill, a musical skill. So inwardly, like I knew that I had completed a cycle, I knew I was very good at it and I was struggling to get recognition and financial success with it, right? Okay, the next two cards that show two highlights from that existence that relate to music and myself. The first one is the Eight of Clubs, right? This is a very nice card. This card is like, um, it relates to Rahu, to the North Node. Um, it's a card that shows that you are, you don't need external validation, like, you can feel fulfilled inwards about your ideas, about your philosophies, about your inspiration. You don't need any external validation, right? Ernst Wilhelm calls this card the spiritual teacher card. So I think it's a very good card. So yeah, I felt that I was... I, I didn't require like validation for my ideas. I guess I was just requiring validation materially because I knew that I was uh, pursuing my inspiration and I was good at that but uh, yeah I was struggling to get some financial worldly success as well and one of the things uh, another thing that happened in that life was a jack of diamonds right okay so the jack of diamonds is like um a fleeting opportunity right it's not something that lasts a long time it's something that you enjoy in the moment that brings value to you and other people but that is something very temporary that goes away so I probably had like a one-hit wonder or the equivalent of that in whatever age so I, I had a, a small break at some point right a one-hit wonder type of situation and then the next card will show how this materialized. So, okay, I was feeling uh, that I, I had like reached the, the top of my skill. I was on the top of my game skill-wise. And how that evolved, unfortunately, not in a pleasant way. Uh, the Queen of Diamonds is a very nice card. It's the very energetic manager. It can be a great financial manager, but... Uh, you know, when it's reversed, it can be too authoritarian. So it can uh, tell people like my way or the highway, you're going to do this and this and this. And, you know, she's not going to listen to you and be kind of uh, power crazy a bit, right? So that's where I went, unfortunately. And uh, that, uh, the next card shows like what happened to this uh, outer path so what happened to this eight of diamonds it shows that unfortunately i didn't have a good time with my collaborators right number three relates to teammates it relates to mars and when it's reversed it shows that you couldn't like work well with your teammates right it can also show you have to go back to the two right the two of clubs and that is like coming together with your idea. So you have to go back and reanalyze like how you came together with that idea so that you find a way to express it uh, like more independently, which is a good, healthy three of clubs without stepping on other people's toes, right? So, yeah. And um, what is my lesson in this life with regards to music? Okay, so the lesson is that I need to, okay, number two of diamonds is like coming together with something, right? But it's coming together in a nice gentle way, not pushing it. It's like being receptive to coming together with something, right? Because it's a feminine energy, it's a yin energy, a red card energy. But since it's um, reverse, like... Um, I'm gonna 
come together with this energy not in a way that I wanted it to, right? So I have to go back to the Ace of Diamonds and I have to reevaluate what the potential is, what the potential skill is, right? Yeah, so I don't know, maybe in my life it relates to the fact that I've always been fascinated with music. I can also like, uh, I can play bass. I haven't played in years, but I'm sure if I pick up a bass, I remember it. I was also in a band for a couple of months, but uh, then other stuff happened and I didn't really pursue music. So yeah, right now I'm finishing up a book on musicians looking from the astrology lens. So probably it relates to that, right? Like coming together with this skill, with this music, but in a different way, like not being a musician necessarily, but still being preoccupied with music and coming together with this a musical skill somehow in a way, right? Yeah, uh, usually it's it's hard to do interpretation for yourself because you're subjective, but I do my best, right? So yeah, this is one of the examples on how past life readings work. Another advantage of past life reading for you guys is that it costs less than um, astrological readings for the simple reading for the simple reason that it would take me uh, less time to do it right and at the same time if you want to get a more complex past life reading I can merge this uh, past life prashna card prashna with uh, elements from your birth chart right so as for the simple card reading I don't require a birth date for the more complex past life reading, I also need to see your birth chart, right? To see where the karmic factors are and how they are related to whatever question you have, right? Okay, so yeah, that's about it in a nutshell. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comments, right? And check out my website, yourstarsalign.com. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Bye!